Here in San Diego, we are seeing trends similar to what's happening across the country. COVID cases skyrocketing and hospital space diminishing as Omicron continues to spread. The CDC estimates 95% of those new cases involve this new variant. But data from overseas is giving some reason for hope. Joining us to talk about this latest data and the outlook for the weeks ahead is Associate Dean of Global Health Sciences at UCSD, Dr. Stephanie Strathy. Welcome. Thanks for having me. So I want to ask you, you know, there is some data indicating Omicron swept through South Africa, then swiftly dropped off. Could the U.S. San Diego eventually see a similar drop off? Well, it's too early to say that. Uh, certainly we know that this is a very infectious variant, much more infectious than previous variants of the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19. And our situation is different than South Africa. They had a lot fewer people vaccinated. They have a younger population and a different ethnic makeup. But um, certainly we're seeing Omicron spread rapidly throughout the US. I mean, there was a million cases uh, at least um, just the other day. And so here in San Diego, we have, you know, uh, a lot of concern about the spread of this through the community, even though it's uh, more infectious, it's thought to be less serious, but we shouldn't take that um, to be complacent because with lots of infections, even if a, a small majority of them end up becoming serious, that's still enough to swamp our hospitals. And that's what we're starting to see. Uh, and yeah, that is really an, an interesting question about just how virulent this this variant is. Uh, we are hearing about more breakthrough cases of people who are vaccinated, possibly even boosted in some cases, who are just suffering mild to no symptoms, who are included in the case count. Does that make the case count misleading in any way? Not really. It's it's just it's harder to uh, get a grasp on things right now. I mean, clearly we just came out of the holidays, so we're not seeing um, you know reporting um, as regularly as we did earlier in the epidemic. And and there's a discoupling now or an uncoupling between the cases and the hospitalizations, and that's really due to vaccines. So vaccines are working. It's just that we don't have a really high percentage of people with triple boosted uh, coverage. And so what we know from Omicron right now is that two doses of vaccine are not enough to protect you fully from this variant. So you really need to get that third booster as soon as you're eligible, get it for you and your family members and um, get your hands on some rapid tests if you can. Um, and because even though there's some indication that the rapid test may not be as sensitive uh, for the Omicron variant, they're the best we have. And it can at least give you some assurance whether if you've been exposed, whether you are infected or uninfected. You mentioned the rapid testing uh, with the increased use of at home test kits, some of which are not included in the official count. Just how much higher could the case numbers really be? Well, it's, that's too early to say. I mean, clearly, if someone's getting a rapid test, um, that's not getting counted in the usual case count. So um, a million cases per day across the U.S., that's likely to be a gross underestimate. But I, I urge people, and Dr. Fauci said this as well, that we should be looking at the hospitalizations, hospitalizations and the deaths as the best indicator of what's going on. And here in San Diego County, we've seen a 20% increase in hospitalizations over the last week. And that's a concern. We're all already approaching 80% occupancy um, when we look at the hospitals. So our hospitals are really feeling it. And I work at UCSD. We have amazing healthcare workers, but they're exhausted. This is not the time to uh, you know get infected or to you know have elective surgeries when the hospitals just don't have the capacity. So that's that's what I worry most about is that it's the strain on our healthcare system. Yeah, and as health officials have mentioned before, the precautions that we take, it's not just about us, but it's about protecting people who may be more vulnerable. Dr. Stephanie Strathy, Associate Dean of Global Health Sciences at UCSD, thank you so much for sharing some of your knowledge with us. You're welcome.